Okay, so we're going to start with the mast. It's probably the easiest part to do, mostly because it's just fairly flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to start adding glass to one side. We're going to go from there. So we got some epoxy mixed up and we're just going to start with the first layer. Very simple, very easy. Try to place it down evenly. And then just pour some epoxy over and then start to spread that out and saturate the cloth. So that first layer is totally saturated and now is the perfect time to start with the second. Pretty important to line this up nicely before you put it down because once it's wet it starts to soak up it gets hard to reposition so that first layer is down nice and it was had a lot of extra epoxy in it which is great because this next layer is going to start to soak that up and then we just need a little bit more to complete this one and then we just keep doing this until we get through the suggested amount. Very easy, very straightforward. Just make sure you get everything, get all that cloth wetted out. It's very obvious if you have a dry spot. Um, so, very simple to do. We are going to do this, as I said, until we get through all the layers. And then we're just going to sit and wait for it to start to gel up so that we can trim all this as the epoxy is still not fully cured. And that will make it very easy to do with a razor blade. So this is how things should look like when we are finished adding all the layers. We see we have nice saturated cloth going around the whole part. Everything here is nice and evenly saturated. Now we're just going to let this start to cure up. Um, with this specific epoxy in about three hours at 75 degrees it will be mostly cured um, so I'm gonna try to come back here in like two hours I'm gonna constantly check on it probably every 30 minutes but I know in about two hours this will be probably in a good spot uh, to trim it with a razor blade and that's gonna make things fast very easy and very clean alright so as that side of the mask here is we're gonna get started on the fuselage so this is the surf specific fuselage. We also have a different fuselage. If you want to know the, the difference between the two, you can read about it on the, on the web page. Um, I'm not going to get into that here, but we're going to be doing this one because I'm building a surf specific hydrofoil. So we're going to get started uh, and it's best to start with the bottom side and it makes it a lot easier if you have some scraps to just kind of hold the part up as you do the bottom, right? And one thing to note is as you can see these two little holes here. These were used to hold this part down as it was being milled on the machine. Not to worry about them, just kind of leave them as they are. You don't have to do anything uh, specific about them. So we're going to get started with this and we're just going to lay it bottom side up and we're going to get started. So I'm getting started with the front here, and per usual I have my epoxy mixed up. Now I just laid down these two. Now these are up in the front. Again, take a look at the um, layer sheet that kind of details everything. And I'm just going to start by soaking these two out. Now because this is such a narrow part, you really don't need that much. So now that those are saturated, I'm going to take my next piece. And this is a full length. 
take a little time, make sure it covers every bit of wood there. And I'm just going to soak this one out too. So just as before with the mast, you guys get the picture. We're just going to build this up one layer at a time, making sure everything is nice and wet out. All right, so I got all the layers down. Everything looks great. Just double checking, making sure everything's perfect. Now, just like with the mask, I'm going to wait till we get to that gel time, and then I'm going to come with a razor blade and trim everything up nice and neat. Okay, so our mast is now at the point where we're going to want to trim it with the blade. If we take a closer look here, you can see nothing's on the glove. So it's cured that much, and this piece right here, it's flexible, but it's not completely stiff. It's not completely fully cured. So I'm just going to take this utility knife. It's a nice sharp blade and I'm going to hug the wood as close as I can. I don't want to take any wood off obviously but I'm just going to cut the the glass that overhangs off. So as you can see there it just cuts fairly easy. See, it cuts right away. And it's not pulling off of the wood at all. That would happen if you came in a little too early. Um, this is right where you want it. And it just makes for an easy trim. So just as we trim the mast, we're going to do the same with the fuselage. So it's got to that point where we can trim it. Just barely flexible. Okay, so we have all these edges cleaned up very nicely on the mast. You can see this is the unglassed side. Here is the side we just did. Now I'm just going to glass this side the exact same manner we did this side. And it's important to, I just have little tiny pieces of wood just to keep this up and off the ground because we do want this glass to hang over just a bit so it has the ability to droop downwards. Okay so that's the other side of the mass all glassed up looking pretty good I'm just gonna put it in the back as we get started and working on glassing the other side of the fuselage. All right, so this is the surf specific fuselage. Um, now again, sometimes designs change, so it might not look exactly like this, but the process is pretty much going to be the same. So one tip that can really help with this because it's, these are, because it's so curved, it can be a little hard to wet it out. Um, so if you place the fiberglass, just kind of fold it up on some sort of piece of plastic and wet it out beforehand. It can make things a heck of a lot easier to lay down on the fuselage. It can get a bit messier, but I do think the convenience factor makes this method a bit better. So again, you soak, soak it out so you don't see any dry spots. And then you can take a piece. It's best not to do too many at once to avoid them tangling up and now lay it down. Alright, so we have the glass all laid up on the fuselage and it's looking very good. Um, that's how the front's looking at the moment. Once this epoxy tacks up a little bit more, I'm going to go in there and kind of work that and try to make it even better. Now this flat spot indicates where the mast should go. Along these edges you might get very small air bubbles. Not the end of the world, but once I work in the front of the fuselage, I'm going to try to get those out entirely. And then the back end is looking perfect. So we're going to let this kind of gel up, tack up a little bit, and we're going to try to make that front as perfect as we can. Okay, so the fiberglass and epoxy of these parts is now at that stage where it's not fully cured, but it's getting there. It's pretty much at the same place 
where we previously trimmed the edges of the mast. So it's flexible, but not fully cured. So I flipped both of these parts over and what we're going to do now is pour a thin layer of epoxy along the edge, all the edges, and try and work it down there. Um, it's probably going to help to have a popsicle stick or something in that matter to really get it in the edge. And that's going to seal up these joints. And I like to do it while this is still flexible and not fully cured because in, then you can get a nice chemical bond as both the thin bead of epoxy that you pour and the epoxy on the glass will cure at the same time. So I'm going to start with the mast and that's pretty much it. Just try to keep it consistent. and go all the way around the part. Same thing with the fuselage. All right, so taking a look at the pour that we just did, you can see that there's some thin epoxy down in there. And this is just sealing up the layer on this side and then the fiberglass on the other side. It forms a nice epoxy edge all the way around your part, which after we trim this extra glass, it will allow us to sand a perfect edge around these parts. So I did the same thing on the fuselage here. And you can see up in the front, it's pretty messy, but it's not a big deal. And if you can recall, it might be difficult to get this fiberglass to hug the nose, depending on which fuselage you're, you're building. And if you don't get it to hug perfectly, it's not a big deal because in this stage, when we flip it over, you can pour some extra epoxy up front and that will seep down and fill those voids so they're not an issue. So we're just going to let this all cure up. And once it's done, we're gonna trim and give everything a nice sand. Okay, so our mast and our fuselage are fully cured up. Pretty ugly looking right now, but by the time we're done cleaning them up, they're gonna be looking very nice. So at this stage, it comes down to what tools you have. The more tools you have, the easier this is going to be, but uh, the bare bones, I guess, would be starting with a utility knife, trimming away what you can. Be very careful at this stage, you don't wanna cut yourself. Trim away what you can, and then come in with sandpaper. Uh, you could sand by hand, or if you have an orbital, it'll make very quick work of this. And I recommend using some pretty low grit. I believe this is 40. That might be a little bit too low. You might want to start around 80. But the whole idea is we want to clean this up and get down to this epoxy edge. Now here we can see it right there. That's where we want to get to. We just want to slowly and methodically sand down to that edge. All right, so this concludes part one of the build. Our mast and our fuselage are trimmed, sanded. The edges are nice. I'm not sure how easy it is to see here because it's sanded, but you can see we have a nice edge there. And same thing on the other side. So everything is looking very nice. Same with the fuselage, that all got cleaned up very nicely. Had to sand down that front portion a bit. Everything's looking great. So the next part of the build is going to be working on the base plate and attaching that to one end of our mast.